Who is the Morgan you? That's one of the questions you'll be answering because when the game begins, you have no idea why you're on the space station, what people were doing to you, how you got there, what you need to do to get out of the situation. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. In Prey, you can play either a male or a female version of Morgan Yu. We wanted you to identify with the character as much as possible. We did not want to impose personalities such as the cocky extrovert or the cynical introvert. The player has a large role in defining who Morgan is. Morgan is at a point in her life where she's having an identity crisis. And it's up to the player to help guide Morgan along one path or another to define which version of Morgan you want to see. You as a player go into it completely unknown. She's leaving information for you. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. You're traveling through her life and discovering bits about her relationships with the other individuals who were on the station and how those relationships played out. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. And what you quickly discover is that you're at the center of an experiment that's meant to alter what it means to be human. Very quickly you discover that things are not well on Talos 1. Things have gone sideways. There's this species of alien called the Typhon that have overrun everything. Some of them are actually hunting you and you'll have to use everything at your disposal. Your wits and your creativity as a player, the tools and weapons that you find laying around the station, and then possibly powers. One of the choices that you have to make is how much alien power you want to invest in. The more you do, the more the aliens are aware of you. There's an alien called Nightmare that has been designed to chase you, basically to hunt you. He will appear more often. Also the turrets will attack you because they will recognize you as an alien entity. Then there are other choices based on what you want to do with the characters of the space station. Some of them are going to ask you for favors. You can do them or not do them. You go, get something of mine, huh? it will influence the way the game unravels, and also it will influence the endings. Breaking convention is in our blood. As you move through the space station, you'll find out that you have a history with a lot of the people that you meet that are still alive. A lot of the gadgets, objects, items that you discover, you had a role in even inventing them. But even more importantly, your brother, Alex Yu, is the CEO of Transtar and a lot of things aboard the station are the way they are as a result of your relationship with him. Morgan's choices matter. How Morgan treats the people around her and what Morgan does to respond to the aliens evading the station matter. The way that I play Morgan U really depends on the day that I'm playing. There's so many different ways and sometimes I want to approach the game from a different perspective than on other days. There's a lot of opportunities to either play as ethically as possible or perhaps as unethically. Just be yourself. All of these things contribute to different permutations of end games that we have, so it matters that way. But it also matters how the other characters respond to you and how they treat you. And it's exactly what will define Morgan in the end. The only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive.